Europe, Alistair Overeem. This time, I'll start with the person standing to my right. And trust me, he's the start. I'm very happy to say that the Pride Fighting Championships give him the okay to fight here because he just came back from Japan where he beat the number one contender for the heavyweight belt for the Pride Fighting Championships, Sergei Haritano. And trust me, that's a big accomplishment. He represents the Golden Glory team from Ron Nicholas and has a record of 22 wins and 6 losses. He stands 6 foot 3 inches tall and weighs in at 250 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, Holland Sprite, the Demolition Man, Alistair Overeem! <laughs> and his opponent tonight is going to have a tough test, but hey, it's mixed martial arts and that means anything can happen. One little bit mistake from Alistair that can give him the victory. He came from Litauen and he's representing Antonio Jim. He stands six feet tall, also 215 pounds, has a record of three wins and two losses. Please give it up for Nikolaios Selkinas. <laughs> Referee in charge, Case Beckman. First round here, we've really been looking forward to this one. Alistair Overing, the demolition man, a giant from Holland. And what a fast start from him. Yeah, yeah, he, he's, he's got a bit of a weight um, advantage to Nikolai Kovacic on the floor, which is where he is now. I mean, he needs to turn, turn out of this. He's a tough guy though, I fought him before, and he's a tough guy. That's right, you've got the inside track on this, Kilkinnis. Yeah, you beat him, didn't you, James? Yeah, I did beat him. I took him to a ground. He his strength is boxy. I took him to a ground. He's going to pound him, what Alistair is doing now. Oh, Alistair's just far too strong for him in, in every department, I think. Alistair's so big and menacing. That's what I mean. And a pride champion. Well, well, he fights in pride. He's not champion yet. He's in uh, the 16 man open weight tournament coming up. And uh, he was in the middleweight tournament. But he's, he's, he's one of the top contenders in pride. Is it's all about levels, James. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, he's taking it to the floor, which is, I mean, Alistair is an excellent stand-up as well, and Nikolai's uh, uh, got good hands and he's a boxer, so, I mean, you want to you wanna fight to your opponent's weaknesses, and that's what Alistair's doing. Overeem's got such an imposing record, a great physique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this going to be too much for this guy? Yeah, I mean, Overeem usually fights at um, middleweight to light heavyweight in Japan, and he's decided to... Uh, Go up to heavyweight for this tournament coming up, and it actually suits him a lot better because you can see how big he is, six foot five. And he's going for an arm bar here. This could be over very quickly. Yeah, yeah, he's on the There we go. Oh, he's got the arm bar. Yeah, he's tapped. Oh, tapped out. That's First that's round that. win. We didn't get to see much of him, but Alistair Overeem, what a classy competitor. Yeah. That, was, that was domination from start to finish. He was just playing with him. Like that. He didn't even break sweat. No, he didn't. No, all day long. I think the crowd appreciated him. What did I say? He's going for the attack, James. Yeah, he lands a punch and kick, a flying knee. We've got him back him up, another knee. Sweeps his leg, takes him down. Near Valley. We've got side control, he's causing damage now. You can see controlling him, he's got his weight on, on him all the time. That. Here he's going for an armbar. I thought he was going to go for a standing armbar first, but turn it around. And the winner, by way of armbar, the fourth But it was exciting. Alistair Overeem, a class competitor. And Kilkinnis looks like he's done 12 rounds. <laughs> yeah.
It's now time for the final of the eight-man tournament. It's an all-Brazilian affair, and remember, these guys have...